These varieties are very important in a sense that they are resistant to a disease called soybean rust. This disease, if you grow a, a soybean variety that is not resistant, you will harvest very little and you will not make income out of your, out of your crop. So these varieties have been bred specifically to be resistant to soybean rust disease. And also they are high yielding and <clears throat> they have high protein and oil content. The new seed varieties, codenamed Maxoy N, come on the heels of other innovations at the university, including a bus, the Kayola bus, launched yesterday as the institution races to meet market demands. This is after much criticism about its focus on theoretical education. Out of these two varieties, one of them is the earliest variety you can ever see. Uh, we've got a variety called Maxoy 1N. It's just within 95 days it is ready for harvesting. And you know that means a farmer saves time. Or if a drought is to come, you will find that it has escaped a drought. On their part, farmers and oilseed dealers expressed concern over the limited government support extended to the subsector, especially in seed regeneration, despite its huge potential. Another problem which you are having is the the, the breeder seed. You know, Naro is not being supported much and there is only one breeder, that is Mr. Walter Anyang, who is almost becoming a doctor. The breeder seed he has, the, the, then the, the, the parental line which he had was little in quantity. Then secondly, last season, it was not germinating very well. So that was a challenge and we hope this one will be improved.